We return now to the political crisis in the United Kingdom as it grapples with how to leave the European Union. Foreign Affairs correspondent Nick Schifrin brings us the latest. This week, for the second time, the British Parliament rejected the agreement that Prime Minister Theresa May negotiated with the European Union to leave the EU. Parliament doesn't have an alternative, but it has rejected the possibility of leaving without a deal, and today, lawmakers voted to delay Brexit altogether. To help us walk through what happened today and what's likely to happen next, we turn to Peter Spiegel, the news editor at the Financial Times, who joins me from London. Peter Spiegel, thanks for being on the news hour. Does this extension give the Prime Minister a lifeline and, and will the EU grant it? Well, let me take the second part first. It is not guaranteed that the EU will grant it. All 27 countries, the other remaining members of the EU, have to approve this. This message that we've been getting out of Brussels thus far has been this will be pro forma, but you occasionally hear the, the French in particular, but also the Spanish saying, look, if you guys are going to ask for an extension, what are you going to use this extension for? You have to let us know that you're going to come to some resolution, which clearly at this point the Brits can't do. Now, is this a lifeline? Yes and no. I mean, in the one, on the one hand, this has been for two years, Theresa May has been trying to get a deal through Parliament. She's negotiated for two years, and we're two weeks away, and she still can't do it. Um, the delay will allow her at least another couple of months to try to keep pounding her head against the wall, but there's no sign that, this is, that anyone's moving anywhere. Um, so the question is, is it going to be a short extension where she tries to get her, her deal done uh, in the next month or two, or is this a long extension where actually the whole question of whether Britain leaves at all becomes, becomes into play? And I think that's the question we're going to be facing next week uh, when, when there's another vote in Parliament on this, this, this bill. So the vote today was to extend until June the 30th, and that date is important because it's right before the next European Parliament session begins. What could lead to the uh, delay being longer? Well, look, the big announcement this week also was that she's going to try for a third time to bring her plan to Parliament. It's probably going to be next Tuesday, and she has said to, to the members of Parliament, look, you got a choice. You can either back my bill in, in this third vote, in which case we'll need a short technical extension, probably to, the, to the, the, when the European elections happen, which is May 23rd. We'll push it through Parliament, we'll get it ratified, we'll push all the legislation through, and, and that will be done and dusted. Or... You know, we could be indefinite. We could be years stuck in an in a extension because, as you said, the European elections are in May. The European Parliament sits in July. Then they have to redo the European Commission because they come to a new term. Every five years, they got to reappoint the European Commission. So Britain suddenly, as a go ongoing member of the EU, has to participate in all these things. And, and the chances of actually Theresa May hanging around that long as prime minister are very slim. So either you get a very short and sweet and the, the, new, the deal goes through and, and Britain leaves, in, in late May, or boy, you know, it, it goes haywire and we have no idea where this is going to end. And, and no idea where this could end. Could that mean that we'd get either no Brexit at all or, or as you referred to earlier, a second referendum? Well, look, I mean, what you hear when you talk to Brussels, I spent six years there, what you hear from the EU is the one thing that they would be willing to sit back and wait for is some sort of democratic event. You know, is it a second referendum where the British people are asked yet again, um, is it this kind of Brexit you want? Is it that kind of Brexit you want? Or do you want to stay in at this point? or you have a general election. I mean, the fact of the matter is, Theresa May no longer has a majority in Parliament. She's relying on a small Northern Ireland party to stay in government. Um, you have a Labour Party, which is coming around slowly but, but, but surely to backing a second referendum. So why not bring it to the people? You have a, a Brexit party in, in the Tory party, and you have what has increasingly become a second referendum party in the Labour Party. And I think you're getting to hear a lot of rumbling in Brussels that if you guys can't solve this in Parliament, the best solution is going to be some sort of democratic event. Again, second referendum or general election. Peter Spiegel, news editor of the Financial Times, thank you very much. My pleasure.